Since nearly all feature sources contain attributes, being able to edit those attributes is an important part of working with features. We'll focus in on editing these attributes. When we edit attributes of features, we need to go through the editing transaction of checking the feature out, making the change, and checking the feature back in. Another important aspect of working with features is that they behave just like a database. And that is that, unlike working with a drawing file that you save every once in a while, once you commit a change back to a feature source, you make a change to the file or database that's outside of the drawing file. We're in a drawing file that has two feature sources connected, a roads SDF file and a parcels SDF file. One way that I can edit the attributes of a feature is to use the properties palette. I'll zoom into this area and select this road segment. Right click and click properties. At the top, we can see that this is a map feature and we can see the feature properties themselves. One of those properties is the street name, and for this particular street name, the data was entered incorrectly. In this case, drive should be abbreviated as DR. If we were to make the change here, as soon as we begin that editing process, AutoCAD Map 3D would automatically check this feature out of the data store. Automatic checkout is a setting that you can change, but by default, AutoCAD Map 3D is configured to automatically check this feature out for us. But I'm going to make this change in the data table instead, so I'll go ahead and close the Properties palette and press Escape. I'll go to the Display Manager, select the Roads feature layer, and click Table. Once the table is displayed, if I select the same road, it highlights that record in the data table. And I'll make my edit using this data table. If I double click in this cell and make the change, AutoCAD Map 3D automatically checks that record out for me. And you can see the pencil icon on this record that indicates this record is checked out and is being edited. I'll go ahead and change this to DR. Once I press Enter, the icon changes, indicating that the feature is waiting to be checked back in. At this point, we made the changes, but we have not committed those changes back to the feature source. To take a closer look at this, since I have the roads feature layer selected, we have a vector layer context ribbon. On this ribbon, we have a panel called Edit Set with several tools that we can use to manage our process. Here, I can check features out, check them in, select checked out features to see a highlight of them, cancel a transaction, or refresh a layer. I'll click Check In, and now in the table, you can see that the editing icon has been removed from this record and this change has been committed back to the SDF file.